the very best thing about being a volunteer is I know I'm helping. You always meet someone new, you always hear something new, and it's like the saying say, you learn something new every day. And every time for the past year or so, I have learned something new each day. I think the thing I like best about volunteering is the meeting new people. Every day is a different shift. You not only with the patients, but the other volunteers, the staff members. I think it's a good experience for me. I get to see that how the hospital is, how the environment around here is, how the different staff uh, cooperate and work with each other. I just really do enjoy it. I look forward to being part of the team very much, and I get back far more than I give. What kind of person volunteers at Trillium Health Center? What experience do they need? What kinds of things do they do? With more than 1,100 volunteers from all walks of life, it's safe to say that there's a place at Trillium for just about everyone. I started in hospitality, which was meeting and greeting, which I really enjoyed because you got to meet a lot of people. But then I missed the team aspect of it, so I was able to make a change and go into day surgery where there's a team of nurses and doctors who work on a daily basis there, so you really feel as part of the team. What they try to do is match what the person's interests are, from patient contact to being by yourself. I do mostly filing of patients' chart, and also I call patients to remind them of their appointments for the following day. I just go around, give water to patients, and on the way I just talk to them, ask them how their day is. All you need to be a volunteer is a, a, a willingness to, to want to uh, give to others. If you've never been a volunteer, it would be easy to think that it was all just about giving, but most volunteers find that it's much more than that. I've had an opportunity to be a volunteer both locally in my community, uh, nationally and internationally. Uh, and I can honestly say that, um, that it's made a difference uh, in the way I've carried out my life and the things I believe are important. You actually get back a lot more than you give, both in terms of working with the staff, how appreciative they are of our efforts, but of course for the patients, what you can really do for the patients. We had a patient that was in a coma and the family asked us to come in. We went in and had them put their father's hand on the fur and start petting. And you could see even though his eyelids were closed, there was movement behind the eyelids. And I mean, the family just burst into tears. That was the first time in a while that they had seen any reaction. And it's, that's what makes it worthwhile. With so many different talents, volunteers bring more than just a pair of willing hands. Trillium volunteers are the very face of friendship and compassion for patients during their stay. You know, they say one person doesn't make a difference. Well, you do here. And it's really rewarding because you know that you're making a difference. With facilities in both Mississauga and West Toronto, volunteers at Trillium can choose both location and hours to suit their own individual schedules. We design programs around the needs and interests of the volunteer. You tell them what you want to do and where you're comfortable and they work around it. From orientation and education sessions to working side by side with a team leader, new volunteers quickly find their footing. I was very nervous the first day because I didn't know anyone that was volunteering, so I just came on my own. The great news is within the uh, volunteer structure, there are team leaders who are experienced, have been many years volunteering at the hospital, and they're with you on the first day, and they're available, and you can talk to them at any time, and they'll take you through it. The staff I work with was really good. They helped me get over that nervousness. And ever since then, I've been very comfortable. The first day as a volunteer was, was actually very fun because what happens is that you're teamed up with your service leader and they give you a day where they train you and you shadow what they're doing. So it's actually not stressful. From reception to sales to clerical work to bedside care, the volunteer possibilities at Trillium are endless for every interest and every talent. The patients are very grateful for our work. They're very thankful for the, to the volunteers. If you take water to a patient, it's like you've given them a million dollars. The patients really acknowledge and appreciate the, the help they get from the volunteers. They just are so appreciative and so thankful. 
Staff, too, recognize the invaluable role that our volunteers play and go out of their way to acknowledge their importance to our caregiving team. The staff here, they treat the volunteers uh, very well. They treat us as if we were one of them. We sometimes think it's, ah, uh, we're just kicking around on the periphery, but we're not. We play a very important role in the hospitals, and the nurses and the doctors truly understand that as well. The staff, always the same way, where they come in and they say, thank goodness you're here. It allows us to have a dimension uh, of, uh, of caring that might not be possible without volunteers. It's a great experience. There's always something new you're going to learn and a new relationship that you're making. I like that part. People will ask me when is a good time to volunteer. Uh, my response to that would be any time, right now is the right time. Looking for a way to give back to your community? Why not contact us today? Find out what makes volunteering at Trillium more than you ever imagined.